It's your boy Slim Thug in the Boss Hog Outlaws, and you're in the VIP section, man. Keep it locked. Keep it locked. Them haters feel miserable Cause the top on my leg is invisible Old school but the dash still digital Thug a slab hurting boys, they ain't critical That big blue to be or got your girl trying to chill She keep calling on my phone, blowing up my bill The candy DTS got your whole hood impressed Cause every time I hit that block, they like Hi, this is Christina Mendez, and we're here at the VIP section. We're here in New York with Houston's finest, Slim Thug, and everyone, please introduce Boss yourself. Boss Hog Outlaw. Come on, introduce right. yourself. Y'all already know what it is, man. Talk to him, big homie. Young Black, the Gladiator. He a million dollar bill. Jade out of Young Hog. CYW dot over there. She wiggity woe the wheezy wall. PJ the Rap Hustler. Slim Thug. Uh, Who are we, brother? The Boss Hog Outlaws, man. Sir, Church. We collect volume two. In store September 2nd, back by Blockula the Man. Show. What it does, NY. Tell us about the project. Who's on the project? How did you guys come together? Tell us about it. We got two features on the record, which consists of Ray J and um, Lil Kiki. We basically got together. PJ and J Dow came through on the Switch House Bass, hooked up with Thugger. They've been around Thugger since about 98. Me and C Wall came through on the Mob Style Blast. C Wall introduced me to Thugger. Young Black came through with our DJ, Mr. Rogers, man, and we just came together like David Blaine and created magic. That's right. And you all from Houston? Yes. No doubt. North and South Side. So before you guys hooked up, you guys knew each other from the hood or? Yeah. From music, from the music. work ethic, we knew each other. You know, like, we knew, we knew of each other. Something like that. Yeah. Me, Slim, and PJ went to school together. Last side of that, you know, we we was hearing about these boys. Me and PJ had already met through the streets, like on mm -hmm. some neighborhood ghetto gutter type of situation. Me and Thug was just networking. Me, him, and Ray was always bumping heads because they'd be everywhere and I'd be everywhere. So it just went down. <laughs> I hear that. Now, I don't know if you guys know, on August 29th, there's a million DJ march in D.C. DJs are basically complaining that artists are not giving them enough credit for the work that they do for Shots artists. out to the DJs, DJs man. DJs. Without so the DJ, DJ we wouldn't work. be shit. We wouldn't be shit without My the DJ. My honest opinion is Jada out of Young Howard, and I can honestly say I ain't speaking <laughs> for them right now because they're going to say what they want to say. But to me, the DJs make it happen, you know. I ain't taking nothing away from the DJs, you know, they work hard, you know, and they, 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 they play their position, man, you know, they deserve to shine. Why they can't come down Phantoms and Slabs, you know, I, exactly. I so, respect them, you know what I mean, me so, personally, j -Line. That's right, well, you know, support that event, August 29th through the 30th in D.C., they're having a million DJ march. And oh, we gonna be there. Yeah, represent, yeah. make sure everybody's out there, that's gonna be a great event, and I know Slim, you started independently, right? For sure, yeah. So what would be your advice to folks that are going out there to give out their CD, what is the key thing that they should have with them when they go out to D.C. and try to network with these DJs? Man, you just gotta have a hit record, man. Hit records stop everything else. I'm talking about all this. Hand, you ain't gotta do no handing out no CDs. You ain't gotta do all this begging. You ain't gotta do nothing but make you a hit record, and the DJ is gonna get get it from you. How many you, know you need, boss? You out here on the internet, man. I mean, like, I mean, this is 2008. So if you got a hit song and it's really jamming, everybody's gonna know about it, man. I'm talking about from labels, from DJs to whoever. But first thing is first, you gotta get your hood and your city behind you. And then every, let them come to you, man. You know what I'm saying? That's how everybody get found. That's how people usually blow up in the game. Like, it don't... I, I seldom hear about a cat who handed a demo over to somebody and they pop. You're now tuned into what you were expecting. You no. This is just the beginning. You're now tuned in. Pay attention. 
On August 30th, the first annual Million DJ March will descend on the Washington, D.C. lawn to express not only immediate world issues, but also the past, present, and future of the DJ community and concerns that exist. The Million DJ March will draw DJs and music fans from all over the world. For more information, log on to www.themilliondjmarch.com. Majority of people who get signed today is because they already have a following, and they the A and R or whoever came to their city to ask about them and to come get them, or the DJ heard about them from somewhere. I hear, and to create your buzz, how much did you have to put? You think up front if you want to give an estimate? Just that one. Song. As far as money? As far as money. Nothing. You ain't got to spend no money, but you got to just get get the beat from whoever you gonna get, get the beat from, and and that's it. It don't cost a lot of money. You know what I'm saying to to uh, put no album. I mean to to get to get no deal or nothing like that. If you in the hood and you spending, um, you know over a hundred thousand on just you know just trying to put some music together, it, it's crazy right now. You know what I'm saying because it don't cost a lot of money to get you know no hit record or nothing like that, man. Yeah. And I see that your crew is pretty much tight. You guys, we I cool. saw the video. Yeah. Would, are you accepting any new artists or you know I, I don't mean, see any ladies here so is there I, first lady I definitely I definitely would like if a girl came through and I just felt like she had that talent but you know we the boss how got loud and honestly really we would we want like raw music so if she's a girl we want her to spit that raw gutter you know type music it ain't got to be about killing nobody but we want her to represent you know in a, in, in a, in a gangster way. Or don't matter? Nah, it don't matter. But at the same time, I ain't, I ain't been just looking be for out. artists. I ain't just been looking for them because I got a lot of other artists like right here that I got to make sure get they look first. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah. but at the same time, if, if somebody, you know, if, if I heard about somebody like it ain't about her handing me a CD, it's about me. Man, I heard about this girl here. She the truth. Let me holler at her about that. You know what I'm saying? That's how I get her. And I know, speaking of ladies, yeah. you used to date Latoya Lockett, or you still date Latoya Lockett? Nah, we're not, we not together anymore, but we we still friends. We still cool. I wish her all the success. Shout outs to Latoya. Look yeah, you. shout we out to Latoya, and she definitely going to be coming back soon That's with right. some new hot music. How did you feel when you did the um, song with Beyonce? I know they had a little feud. I mean, it was never really about like money that. Or? Like, it wasn't no feud like that. It was never like that. See, the thing was... Um, with the Beyonce record, how it came about was we was me and Toy was actually in Hawaii or whatever, and she wanted to get back to go see the last Destiny Child concert in the city. Oh, that was but nice. and that was nice, you know what I'm saying? So at at the same time, uh, Beyonce people called me on, and, and this was just you know just a coincidence. They called me to put, do a performance with them, so I went and did the performance with them, and you know what I'm saying I ended up coming out real good. To where I got a call like that next Monday or whatever to do the record, and we that did the record, hot. and that was it. You know what I'm saying? Track. It was Appreciate a hot track. it. Appreciate uh, anybody else besides Slim want to talk about the experience? How was it when Slim came up to you guys and said, "You know, we're about to do this big." Well, you know, what was you the know, feeling? Well, I hooked up with Ray Face. You know what I'm saying? And um, he said, "I'm gonna focus. You know, not tripping. You know, we can make it happen." And um, it's been history ever since. You know, we all hold our own. You know, we do our own thing, we got our own style we bring to the table. So September the second, y'all go get this serve and collect and y'all sure. vibe with us. You know it is what it is. Are there any missing members or they, this is the entire correct? This is it right there. What you That's see, hard. what you get, man. You know, we got a bunch of people down with the boss all moving as far as the rappers go and the people who are doing the music, this this it. But we got a bunch of boss hall members don't think that you know they ain't down with it or they ain't working or man, <laughs> but they they not behind the scenes. Yeah, you know. Okay. They I just as important though. Okay. Well, thank you guys for speaking to us at the VIP section and thank you for welcoming you to New York. Obviously, I know thank you guys you, are hitting the club, so we in the VIP, we'll baby. How loud us. Look for the collect September second. In stoves. That's Back what it is. Block, you must love me and see. Go get one and see. And you can understand yeah. more clearly about part two. But if you only got part two, that's good. Man, we finna drop, man. September 2nd. That is. Support, guys. Thank you again for tuning into the VIP section. Peace.